Yeah. 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 Yeah.
swoon when I saw this spice. Buttery leather vest. You know I love my vests with gold buttons. It's got the cinching waist, got the 80s power dressing vibe. I could also go western with this if I wanted to. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Oh, I love it. It's definitely an 80s power dressing moment. I love this window pane print. It's a little bit stained. So I'm not sure, but I am gonna just throw it in my cart. Never know. It might be worth cleaning. Just spotted this really gorgeous vintage sweater. I don't know if it's totally what I'm looking for today, but I definitely want to at least try it on. I love the vintage tag. So great. I don't know why, it just makes me very happy. Hmm. And I love these colors. The sweet vintage. More of a shacket. It looks handmade. You can see kind of the details on the inside. The buttons down the front. It even has a little bit of a kind of tailoring to it, which could be really cute. So I'm excited to try this on. I love this overall print. Okay, this is amazing. Talk about 80s power dressing. This is a OSU. So what is that? Oregon State University. <laughs> What's OSU? I need to look it up. Yeah. But that's really fun. I'm ready for the football game. Rah, rah! The epitome of a lot of the inspiration was the power dressing trench coats. This definitely has that look to it. I actually really like this one because it's lightweight. And I like this color. It's more of a bone color. I have one that I love, but it's tan or it's like a mix between tan and khaki. So I have a harder time sometimes styling that color. But I really like the lightweight bone. This definitely feels very wearable. Sometimes stretch coats feel like heavy and they swallow you. This one is like toss it on, run out the door went through outerwear, accessories, sweaters. I'm gonna come back and maybe scan tops, but I'm gonna move on first to skirts, pants, blazers, dresses, that whole section. Those are my, you know, face. Just found this gorgeous cream, more of a linen, really beautiful skirt. And then, talking about Prada, I've been wanting to get a gray, little more of a mini skirt to wear with all my Prada inspiration, which actually I feel like would look so cute with this sweater that I'm currently wearing, and then even this blazer over it. I love this. This is Old Express, which I always like finding. Okay, I just found these amazing vintage, probably like, eight, I would guess like 80s or early 90s Western pants. They're incredible. I mean, I'll try, but they're looking a little a little small. But I love the little suede details on it. So if you want to look up a pant like this, it looks like it's called Jolly, J-O-L-Y. Yes, J-O-L-Y, Young. So if you want to do a search, those are really fun. Another pair of amazing vintage trousers. These are called Streak. They're so gorgeous. I love the extra high waist. These should fit more balloony style, so I don't know if they're gonna work on me or not, but it never hurts to try. Can we also just check out our cart today so far? We haven't even gotten to the rest of the store, and we're doing pretty good here. Katie's power dressing right here. These gorgeous black leather pants. Also, just look at this tag. International Creations by Raffaello. That just makes it even yummier. Backing up to blazers. More of a rusty brown. I love the shoulder pad detail and kind of this rounded shape here, but then it cinches in and is more tailored. So I think this could be really incredible. Spotting all of the rounded shoulders, shoulder pads. This is a old jeans of New York, but what I like about this is it almost has a PJ vibe. Like you could just have on like a PJ pant and throw this on, and then you're extra fabulous. It never hurts to check the nightmare section. There's a lot here. So 
So I'm going to start um, going through all of these and just really weeding it down to the items that I love. I'll try some things on, highlight the items that go along with my inspiration so that we're going to have some fun playing dress up. I like it, oh yeah. God. I like how slouchy it is. It's, I think that western yeah. that I like actually more than I thought. Ooh, this is kind of fun. That is why you put things in your cart because. I might have thought, meh, but then you gotta try it on and all of a sudden it changes into something you love. Very cute. I really love this. It feels very classic. It's really cute almost. I think these might be from the 70s. Like, oh, look at the detail here. Oh my gosh. And we're here to think that you <laughs> I passed them and we found them. Yeah. <laughs> They're so fun. Yeah. Will you um show the yolk in the back too? Yeah, so cute. I like the little stain. Oh <laughs> yeah. For store. Oh my gosh, I love these. Yeah. These are really great too. Shoot. They're almost a little lower waist. Like my other ones come up high. And they're pretty incredible. I feel like when you find a pair of leather pants, maybe you should just get them no matter what. I don't think I can pass these up. Yes, I can. They're $50. Never mind. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this combo. Work belt. As you can 
see in the back. But I actually feel like this could be really fun to work with and style with. And I might even get weird and wear it like this and let everyone know that it's Clifford Lennon Belt Co. Kind of like that actually. Yeah, that's fun. This one's very fun and different with the suit shape on this side. So considering what I'm looking for in my inspiration, I'm gonna go with this trench. I love the bone color, the light weight. It's got the round shoulders that I was looking for. And then I'm definitely getting this gray skirt. It's kind of Prada inspired little gray number. This is too much fun. I love it so much. I love the graphic of it. It's so novelty and so cute. I know me and I know I will wear this and style this in so many ways. I love the work wearness of it. And it kind of gives me like an, a piece that I would definitely style up kind of Western, but I like even this color, kind of thinking of the color palette in Prada, mixing some of these interesting colors together. So I think this will be really fun. Definitely getting the snood. Isn't this called a snood? I think it's called a snood. So. Yeah. I like it. I love this power dressing, 80s, 90s moment. So classic and great. So I think I'll bring this home. I mean, this is just like, perfection so yes to this the big question is do i bring this home i think i should it's just too interesting and fun and it totally has that like kind of western down home on the range kind of a jacket <laughs> store that ended up being a really great day. I never know what I'm going to get and I feel like Sabres really turned it on today. I wanted to just highlight a few of the items that I got that I feel like really ticked the box on the inspirations. So I'm going to grab them and chat through them. This edamame green bag is absolute perfection. I would say it's like maybe 50s or 60s, maybe 60s. And this feels so much like what Prada would have in their collection. It also could be kind of that 80s power dressing, really tailored and structured, but I am feeling a lot of Prada magic with this. And this is just one of my favorite colors in general. Actually, if you look at it, my nails are the same color. So I'm definitely feeling this color and I just feel like this is gonna be such a great little bag such a statement on any outfit. In my closet clean out video, I chatted a lot about versatility. I think I'm realizing that is probably one of my number one things when it comes to buying clothes and accessories is that they're versatile. And so I think that's why I like accessories so much. I found this fur little snood, I think these are called snoods, and it feels like the ultimate versatile piece. I feel like I am checking the box on 80s power dressing with this just because it adds some drama. It's all about exaggeration and throwing fabulous things onto outfits and this just feels like that extra dose of fabulous on any outfit and especially during this winter season. I'm so excited to continue wearing this and I'm very excited about this little gray kind of fit and flare mini skirt that I found. This is all the Prada feels for sure. I've been wanting more of this gray in my life, as you can tell with this little gray number that I have and having this gray mini just makes it so easy to style. I feel like I could really see this in some kind of Prada inspired looks with some really great colored or opaque tights with some Mary Janes. Uh, right now, I think I imagine wearing it with a chunky sweater, an oversized blazer, a trench coat, but I feel like this is a great piece that I can take into a lot of the different seasons and it's just such an essential classic with this gray. Another versatile accessory, this really incredible leopard fuzzy fur print beret. I actually have a leopard fur print bucket hat and I just end up feeling like I'm not a bucket hat girl, but I am a beret girl. And so I love this also has the original tag on it. I would definitely say this is probably, it looks almost more 90s than 80s or like late 80s, but I feel like I can see this with some trench coats cinched in at the waist, 
this beret, some gloves, some drapey pants. I'm gonna have fun playing around with this one. Now this is a little bit of an odd piece. It's definitely a work wear vest, I would guess, or it might be military. I don't even know. It's really, really fun. I love that it has all these extra little details on it and I'm feeling some Western feels with this. Whenever you have a vest, of course, you can pull that off, but I like the idea of some desert Western dressing with this vest, but I also just think I'm gonna have so much fun playing with all the extra little details that are added. I don't even know what this is for, but maybe my phone's gonna be hidden in my back. I don't know, I love it, but I also love this color too, and I'm excited about this one. The trench coat that I ended up picking up is probably the most on point find from the day. I love this tag, by the way, this nuage collection. It's just so, I don't know, classic and fabulous looking. I love this bone color. It's that perfect drape that I was looking for. It's the perfect rounded, bold shoulder. I am definitely gonna be cinching this one up a lot and also taking this into spring because it's more of that lightweight feel that's gonna be so easy to just kind of throw over pieces. I love a trench coat with a slouchy trouser, belted up, maybe a beret thrown in the hair, also more baggy style denim or lightweight denim, and then this and maybe a cozy sweater and a ball cap and some sneakers this you know spring going into the sports season for me because I have children who play sports and I always want layers. Well, that was so much fun today to go to the thrift store with the inspiration in mind. And like I said, just having that inspiration soaked up in my brain, it's like I have little goggles on and then I can kind of see things through that lens and that made it really fun to look through all of the savers goodies and have that you know kind of inspiration percolating in my brain and it turned into a, such a good thrift day so i was so excited to bring you guys along on a really good thrift day i wanted to remind you to sign up for the weekly scoop email i put the link down in the video description below i actually am planning on kind of taking all of these items and giving you some inspiration in that email so the following Tuesday after you watch this video on Thursday, there's gonna be some inspiration coming your way. And if you miss the email for some reason, you can always go to bjonestyle.com and I always have the weekly scoop a week later. So you'll get that as well. So you can check out bjonestyle.com and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. You can subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday. And finally, always play dress up. Bye!